This is going to be a collab with my good friend Alex Faction. <laughs> That's him on FaceTime right there. You'll hear him. He likes the word penis a lot. I went with Melina without her little purple mask on and she has these big intense teeth and they look scary and she's crazy lady so she was a fun character to do and then Alex if you guys haven't seen the tutorial decided to do reptile so you guys should definitely go check out Alex and subscribe to his channel if you're not subscribed already I will have all product details listed down below so that you can check out the products I used in this video that didn't end in a period <laughs> if you're interested in men, all the product details are listed down below. Alright, so starting out we are just going to be using a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to map out where we want the mouth to be. So since Melina has a little bit of tanner skin, I am going to take the RCMA VK11 palette and I'm just going to kind of custom mix to her skin color. I am obviously super, super light and pale, so I went with just a little bit of a darker color as you guys can see. And this foundation palette is just awesome because there are so many variations in the skin colors you can use. Using a flat kabuki brush, I'm just going to put that all over my skin except for the mouth area. When you are putting on foundation, you want to make sure to go in downward strokes because when you kind of go up and down, the foundation can stick to the little peach fuzz that we all have on our face. So just kind of go down, just like this. If you do need some more color on your chest and your neck, go ahead and bring that down all the way because we are going to be painting on her sexy corset. So we want to match generally from head to boobs, unless you're going to her toes, then head to toe. Still pretty much sticking with those downward motions, we are going to put it all over our chest, and then I'm doing just a little bit of highlighting. I'm using my same NARS Creamy Concealer in Chantilly, and the same padding motion I've been using for the foundation just to add a little bit of highlight to the bottom of her eyes, forehead, and chest. Go ahead and set everything. I'm using a fluffy brush from Sigma and the Makeup Forever HD powder with a very thin layer so the foundation stays throughout this whole makeup. Now on to the contour. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shade in Havana and a Morphe G30 brush. What this will mainly help to do is kind of bring the attention into the center of her face because with her mask off she looks so menacing and evil so we definitely want to bring in the attention to the center and make her look scary and a crazy bitch. So you know, just keep contouring your crazy bitch lady. You're going to want to do the cheekbones, the jaw, a little bit on the forehead, and definitely the nose. Melina has this very menacing, kind of big nostriled nose, so go ahead and put some contour down each side to make the bridge of the nose very thin and then the nostrils all big. So with Melina, with the mask off, she has all these huge teeth and all of the skin around her mouth is kind of mangled and you know it has these wrinkles and little pieces to it so um, when I started doing this side and I'm using a picture as a reference I kept kind of getting confused because I really do like to for the most part paint right off of what the picture looks like if I am doing a reference but everything has a purpose so for instance Every wrinkle and little mangled part in her face has a reason for being there. You know, so when you are painting this on, and if you are using a reference picture, which I would definitely suggest, make sure to think about it that way. I've kind of started some of these little lines, and these lines are indentions into her face. So that means they would have shadow going into them. Any part like this right here, that means that this is higher and there's shadow cast underneath this kind of mangled cheekbone. So I think that would just is a tip if you guys are wanting to do this look that has started to kind of help me because I was getting a little bit confused. So just remember that everything does have a purpose for being there. So using a small 
E06 brush from Sigma and an angled brush from Morphe brushes. I'm just going to start mapping out with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shades, kind of where I do want some of her mangled skin to be. Melina has a lot of teeth, and there are a lot of different shapes, different sizes, and they go a lot of different directions. So instead of what I would normally do by completely drawing out the teeth and then filling them in as I go, I'm going to just be drawing small lines just so that I know where each tooth is mainly going to be placed so that I can fit them all in the mouth because she does have so many and I do want it to look relatively normal and realistic to what she looks like. So we're just going to draw little lines as place markers. So using a very small liner brush from Sigma and two Mayron Makeup Paradise paints mixed together, yellow and white, we are just going to start placing the teeth. And now, just go ahead and fill them in. I am making her teeth very long, they come to a very sharp point, and they are going to be a little shorter towards the back of her mouth and get a little bit larger as they come up to where my lips are. The little lines you drew on as a reference do not have to be perfect. Through this clip, you guys can probably see I disregarded a lot of the lines because I did not like how it ended up looking. And you know, even though we are using Melina's picture as a reference, you still want it to fit your face. And unfortunately, some of the teeth she had were just not going to work and there wasn't enough room because I got a little ass mouth. So I just kind of played around with it. For the background behind the teeth, I didn't want to just go straight into the black for behind her teeth. Her mouth isn't some like gaping black hole, so I went with Mayron Makeup's Beach Berry mixed with their black paint just to do a very nice dark red. This is also a- I have to drink coffee extremely carefully. Now, using this Morphe MB27 brush, I'm going to be setting the teeth with Yellow Brick Road from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. Can we just fucking talk about this brush for a moment? It is so amazing. I forgot I even had it. And it's firm, but it also has this nice little fluffy edge. And it's perfectly rounded. And I kind of just want to kiss it every day. And it's blessed by Jesus, I swear. This brush is amazing using our Blessed by Jesus brush, I am using Red Earth from Anastasia Beverly Hills to shave the top of Melina's teeth because they look all aged and gross. And to add a little bit more, I am using Bitten from Makeup Geek, which you guys probably fucking know by now is like my favorite shadow of my life. This is beautiful dark maroon. And I'm just doing that to the very, very tops just to add up even more dimension and make them look even more red and gross. Now just lining them using some of the black body paint from Mayron and a very small liner brush from Sigma. I am focusing more just towards the top of the teeth and not outlining the entire tooth. I don't like that dark line showing too intensely, so I went with the beautiful Morphe brush, and some triple fudge from Too Faced, which is a super dark matte brown eyeshadow, and I am just kind of blending into the line a little bit just so that it's not so sharp. We need some highlight on these teeth, obviously, so using a MAC 210 brush and the MAC acrylic paint in white, I am just putting a little bit towards the very 
tip, just the tip, of the teeth and focusing more towards the front teeth and not really going all the way into the back teeth because there wouldn't really be too much highlight back there. Now after doing the teeth, obviously the mangled skin isn't as intense looking as I want it to be. So I am going back in also with that triple fud shade, the dark brown we used earlier, and I am going to darken up some of these lines. Since her face is kind of messed up, it does not have to be precise to the picture, I would say. You know, I added some more lines here and there to where I thought would help make the mouth on my face look better, and I would definitely suggest the same thing, because this is makeup and it is you know, put on your face. So, just like I said with the teeth, if something in the picture you're using just isn't working out, don't use it. Make it your own and add some other lines here or lines there if that's what makes it look better. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and did this eye and I also was kind of looking at the reference picture and she has very kind of bloody gums and blood around her mouth area and it looks kind of grimy and gross so I went ahead and added some bitten eyeshadow from Makeup Geek just in some random little spots just to kind of grunge it up a little more. First go ahead and prime your eyelids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and a Morphe S26 big fluffy brush. Then I'm throwing a peach smoothie all over my eye. This is a transitional color from Makeup Geek Cosmetics that I'm in love with. And then I am adding in Red Earth from Anastasia Beverly Hills just to kind of add in some darker reddy orange rust color to her crease. I'm using the Melt Cosmetics Love Sick eyeshadow. This is from the Love Sick stack. I decided to use this just because it's more red than the Bitten color from Makeup Geek, so I am adding that all over and I am pretty much just going to be darkening up the crease, but just like I was doing with Red Earth, I am still putting it on very messy. If you look at Melina's eyes, I mean, that bitch can blend, but I mean, it's not like perfect blending. She still looks pretty crazy. I had never done this with this eyeshadow before and I am extremely impressed. I am wetting my small little Sigma brush with the MAC Fix Plus and I am using Dark Matter from Melt Cosmetics, the black eyeshadow, to line my eyes. I am just pretty much wetting the eyeshadow so that it becomes more intense and using it as a liner. And oh my gosh, I am going to be using this much, much more often because it is fucking awesome. Then I'm just adding some more of the dark matter eyeshadow just to really smoke out that line, especially towards the edges and the bottom of the eye. I also want to put some of the Melt Cosmetics black shadow with the Fix Plus mixture on the waterline of my eye as well. When you look at Melina's brows, they aren't anything too fancy, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in with some powder using the Too Faced Triple Fudge eyeshadow, and I am just going to keep them kind of thin and simple. I went ahead and popped on some lashes. On the bottom, I am wearing Precious from House of Lashes, and on the top, I am wearing Pixie Lux, also from House of Lashes. We're going to speed through the chest a little bit because it really doesn't take much. So I am just using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to map out where I want her corset and where I want her gigantic boobage to be. Now I'm going to be filling in the colored part of her corset using the Mayron Makeup Paradise Paints. And this you don't have to fill in super, super well because we are just going to add a highlighter on later, but Melina kind of seems to transition between more of a pink and more of a purple. You know, when I played her a lot in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, those were the days, N64, she was super purple. But now in a lot of pictures, she has more of a pink tone, so I kind of just wanted to play more on the pink side. Using the black paint from Mayron Makeup, I am just going to fill in where the black lines are. Simple as that. Now onto her ginormous boobs, we are going to be using the Morphe G30 brush and the 
two Anastasia contour shades, Fawn and Java, just to create these fucking monsters. You want to go ahead and just shade the intense curve and have it darker up towards where the very edge of the curve would begin. And then you want to blend it inwards. There is a sharp highlight that usually comes with having just huge fake implant boobs, which, hey, not hating on implant boobs, you know, implant boobs are what's up too. You want to have an intense highlight right between them. So I am using the same RCMA mixture I used earlier for my foundation just to really sharpen up where these curves are. She has her very iconic corset style lines going across so I am just drawing those with the black paint as well. For just a little bit of dimension on her corset, I went ahead with some white cream paint. This is from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics in Vice. Since the black seems to be kind of a leather material, we are going to add just a little bit of quick highlight to that. And then I am using Drama Queen from Makeup Geek Cosmetics just to highlight where the collarbones would be since her corset is skin fucking tight. And just use that to go over the collarbone and under as well. And that's the whole tutorial. That is creepy, crazy bitch Melina. I hope you guys liked the tutorial and I hope you had a fun time watching it. It was a cool look to do and please do check out Alex Faction as well for his reptile look. It's so fucking badass. I can't even stand it. It's so good. So that's pretty much the end, obviously. So thanks for watching and please do subscribe. Until next time. So cold on my back. <laughs> okay, ready? Make a very serious face. Hold on, wait, I have to turn on this light.